Hi guys, welcome to Word2 AI and Hybris Technologies. Today I am going to explain how to do parti disk partition on Windows 11 64-bit operating system using built-in tools that is using disk management tool. Let's see. So whenever we install a OS in our local system, so there we need to perform or we need to create disk partition because we need to allocate some memory in the form of a drives where we can split the data and store in respective drives to maintain the data so before going into that concept let's have a look on this and understand memory basics here 1 GB means gigabytes equal to 1024 MB megabytes this is based on a binary system used in computers where 1 kilobyte is equal to 1024 bytes and 1 megabyte is equal to 1024 kilobytes and 1 GB equal to gigabyte equal to 1024 megabytes MB. So however note that in some contexts like marketing storage devices 1 GB is considered as 1000 MB using the decimal system. But in Windows and most technical usage, 1 GB equal to 1024 MB. So coming to this point, like why 1 GB equal to 1000 MB in marketing, which is decimal system. So marketing and storage manufacturers define 1 kilobyte is equal to 1000 byte and 1 megabyte equal to 1000 kilobyte and 1 gigabyte is equal to 1000 megabyte megabytes. So this is decimal SI, international system of units. It's easier to calculate and sounds better for consumers. Example, a 500 GB hard drive as marketed as marketed like this. But in binary, its memory usage space is 165.66 GB. So this is all about memory management basics. So uh, let's come to the point. You can perform disk management in three ways so the first step is Windows X and go to disk management so this is one of the way to navigate to the disk and uh, the other way is press Windows plus R so here we can give a command like disk MG EMT management MSC. So this is another way, and the another third way is right click on it, uh, go to show more options, and here manage. So under manage storage disk, uh, disk management. So this is these are the ways to navigate and uh, so here in C drive I'm having uh, around 1323.11 space so I want, want to uh, put C drive up to 900 GB space dot one one this 900 GB equal to 423.11 423.11 into 1024 equal to this much so I want to allocate this uh, space to one of the drive so here enter the amount of space to shrink in MB Four double three two six four. Four double three two. Dot sixty four. It won't take dot value. So 
so we entered this much space to allocate uh, to one of the new drive upcoming drive which are going to create so you enter the amount of space to shrink in MB this much and total size after shrink is this much okay means um, 900 GB into 1004 and then lakhs 21006 okay mm -hmm. fine now click on shrink button it will take some time So here, yeah, successfully 900 GB uh, allocated to C. Yeah, rest of the space is uh, pushed under unallocated space because because here already 570 uh, GB is there and additionally some 400 GB got added. The like size of the GB got increased. Now we can uh, so create one drive here. So here, what we need to do is right click on it and uh, click on this new simple volume and uh, here we need to follow this wizard assign a drive letter here so welcome to the new simple volume wizard so this wizard helps you create a simple volume on a disk a simple volume can only be on a single disk to continue click on next next and uh, specify a volume size choose a volume size that is a between the maximum and minimum size maximum disk space in MB okay minimum disk space in MB data so simple volume size in MB 9,72,915 okay so let's take 500 GB 1 and 40 yeah so for 500 how much so by 500 GB into so 15 1 by 1 2 okay. next So here assign the following drive letter. So assign the following drive letter here D. Fine. And uh, click on next. Okay. Here new simple volume wizard. So format uh, partition. To store data on this partition, you must format it first. Okay. We need to format it. So choose whether you want to format the volume and uh, if so, what settings you want to use. So uh, the, we are having two uh, options. Do not format this volume or format this volume with the following settings. So here uh, we need to choose a file system typically like NTFS. Yeah, it should be NTFS new technology file system. Uh, it is like a, uh, it is a default file system used by the Windows 11 operating system for storing and uh, organizing files on hard drive and SSDs and uh, allocation, allocation unit size default okay. uh, volume e label new volume okay performing with format yeah category file and folder Compression no only perform it with format. Yeah, click on next. And uh, here, what is saying you have successfully completed the new simple volume wizard. So you select the following settings volume type. Okay, so you selected the following settings volume type, simple volume, disk selected, disk zero, and uh, volume size is. Uh, 5120 MB which is 500 GB 
drive uh, drive is uh, d okay file name ntfs and uh, it should be ntfs yeah Alloc uh, allocation unit size default volume label new volume and uh, quick format s enable file and uh, fold, uh, folder completion no okay click on finish so here successfully data got created i am having uh, c and d now again so what we can do is we can again uh, divide this so right click on this uh, new simple volume click on next uh, again uh, so Uh, uh, 2025 okay 100 next uh, e by again by finish so e drive got created and uh, one more is uh, so this is 225.11 gb on a red space we will create one more drive for this so right click do simple volume next uh, next f next finish done yeah f drive got created yeah uh, successfully we created d drive uh, e drive and f drive uh, with uh, some customized space so this is all about uh, performing uh, system uh, hard disk partition in windows 11 64 bit so it is co common for all the uh, uh, windows uh, operating systems uh, but in uh, latest versions some new features also uh, might be added so uh, yeah this is a process actually uh, so thank you guys for watching this video and uh, please uh, like my video and subscribe my channel for more videos